Hey everybody, it's Alex here. I figured I would do a little how-to. Welcome you to some of the behind the scenes stuff that happens to make the whole doll room a success. And a lot of this work was done uh, long before we posted the first video. So we weren't into uh, posting videos, making how-tos or any of that, it just kind of evolved recently. What I'm working on here is a simple little hack for Wendy. Uh, here's a piece of scrap wood. I'm going to use, I've already made some measurements, it's going to be about 7 by, this will be about 10 and 3 quarters once I get this edge off. Um, probably about 5 different tools were used to do all of the dollhouse work. Simple stuff that everybody, uh, or very commonly has, like a cordless screwdriver and drill. Um, this is probably the biggest thing and, and this is a gem, this has done so much for us and a lot wouldn't be possible. It's a compound miter saw. Uh, really handy, um, makes makes it easy to make uh, really simple cuts. I'm going to use it to trim off this board, and um, what I'm making is a a little platform, and I'm going to fix a plastic Monster High doll stand to this, so that Wendy, when she's doing her um, whatever she does with the hair, you know, redo, do to work independently, so uh, it'll hold the doll up and make shooting the videos a lot easier or just, uh, you know, working in general. So um, stay tuned and um, I'll show you the progress. All right, here we go. So it's all trimmed up. Ended up breaking it down to 10 and a half by seven. Doesn't need to be an exact science here. Um, it isn't as precise as a lot of the dollhouse specific work. This is just a little hack for her to make a platform to make, uh, you know, working on the dolls a little bit easier. She can balance it on her lap or, you know, probably paint it up nice, some neutral color, and uh, maybe even uh, put our logo on there. That'd be pretty cool. But either way, uh, this is where we're at right now. I used a a little sanding block to just buff, buff down the edges so people don't get splinters. I don't get a splinter when I'm working on it, smooth it out. So next step is to go ahead and drill some holes, center, uh, first center the plastic doll stand and then drill some holes and then attach it. Um, and we can figure out um, painting and all the, the final finishing touches. Um, she's gonna test out the actual width first. So before we go to finishing stage, um, hopefully she likes it. All right, see you in a second when we attach it. I had to do a quick measurement here. So what we're doing is we're taking this doll base and I'm going to center it, drill some holes and, and attach it to this base. Um, just realized that Wendy wants to use this for her stage. So to do a quick measurement to make sure that I cut it short enough so there wouldn't be any overhang. Turns out it is. All in, I have eight inches to play with and this is just a hair over seven. So this is a little common sense trick. Just gonna do a little crisscross X from corner to corner to find out my dead center. All right, there's one. A little tricky balance in the phone. All right, here's another one. Not rocket science here, just a little common sense brain work. Find dead center, just make an X. It tells me exactly where I need to be. And I can just eyeball that. And it's gonna go right there. First I'm gonna drill a couple holes in this and also drill a small pilot hole in the wood. It always makes for easier, easier screwing when you're using wood screws. Talk to you in a sec. All right, so. So, it's gonna pay quarter. <laughs> We've got, is that a, a fine you pay when you say the word so? Yeah. Oh, all right, well, I just found out about it right now. I'm not paying, <laughs> I'll pay on the next one. I drilled those two holes. I used a larger bit in order to fit these screws I found in our little scrap screw box. Always hang on to scraps. And let's go ahead and drill these pilot holes. No glue? No. <laughs> Wendy is a glue freak. I hate glue. <laughs> is it as exciting though? <laughs> Very exciting. He's awesome. That I am. It's be a slot, a slot for working on the doll's hair. You know how they always flop over? Yep. I think I can put this between my legs too. We'll try. And uh, if it needs to be longer, we'll make a different one. 
So, pilot hole, number one. Action shots. Pilot hole number two. Are you ready? There's Alex doing his stuff. All right. See, like I said, a lot of the, a lot of work that we've done, things that have happened have happened with really simple. Now this is pretty, you know, that's a little bit more advanced than you'd find just in a, I have a cool, tool sorry. draw. She has <laughs> a little <laughs> little cheapy one that she bought from Michaels, which I hate because uh, I do. I love it. Because this is so much easier to use. Pilot so, holes. Pilot holes. So. Get that dude in there. And this other little guy in there. You moved too fast. It's all right. <laughs> He's learning. Why do you do pilot holes? I already explained that. Oh. Yep. Pardon me. No, it's okay. Pilot holes just make it easier. Because if you don't and you're using a fat screw, what'll happen is, is you'll go, you'll use a wood screw and it'll bite and you go forcing it in there and it might split your wood. Okay. So you wanna... I knew that. I just thought I'd point that out to people. Alternate your tight. screws, not too tight because we're dealing with Made in China special. Well, of course it doesn't crack. Plastic. It's super tight. Need some glue? No. <laughs> I hate glue. If I could, I would ban glue from the earth. It's an... <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. It's a little little bicker moment that we have back and forth. Because yeah. I'm always ready to be done, and she's like, "Oh, we should put glue on it." <laughs> Just in oh. case. And I'm like, "No, Just in case we have to move it." No, I want to be finished. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's that. Um, and now, da, 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 stick da, this da, da, bad boy. Da, da, da. All we're missing is a doll. We have no model, but we have no model, but. Okay, get the idea. Whoops. I'm gonna glue that in. Glue. Glue. You can glue that if you okay. want to. Okay, I'm gonna glue that. All right, so. I just gotta make it pretty. All set. Thanks for watching. Ta-da, he's the best. Quote from so, don't tell Alex. You see that shiny stuff? I put silicone in there to glue it. Don't tell him, okay? I heard that. <laughs> That's because this thing, the stand was gonna snap off, so I did put silicone in it. And now I got this nice piece of material cut to put on top of it. I'll just wrap it around the edges like a present with some glue gun. So I got a pretty bottom that will match my thing over here. Next, I wrapped that all around, as I said, like wrapping paper. And this is what the underneath looks like. I have a lot of glue gun on it. We all know that. I just like to cover all the seams or the ends to make absolutely sure I don't snag it and pull it off. I had an inadvertent accident that the material I did way too thick over here on the triangle shapes and it made it wobbly. So inadvertently it worked to my advantage though. I just put four thick stickers on it. And that made it balance and made it tilt, which is really good for my salon time and working on the hair that'll tilt towards me or away from me, depending on what I want. And that works out good. Now on the top, just to cover that hole, I put a little puffy paint, which is still drying, just to cover it up and it looks a little pretty. So now I can set it down in my display case. And as you can see, it's kind of on an angle with how I did it. So if I have it forward, I can do that. And then it is tilted upwards, or the back is tilted upwards if I was working on the back of her hair. The puffy paint has dried right here now, and that gives us completely a doll stand that does not flop over. The silicone in here was really smart, and you can pick it up by that so I highly suggest that to make it complete, although I won't make it a habit of picking it up there to not weaken it, but it's definitely worked out. Beautiful, beautiful stand. Let's put a doll on it now. Before I do that, let's do a shout out to Tabby Cat 7 
I bet you your grandpa can make this your awesome videos of your room tours I've been enjoying very very much for your ever after hi thanks for sharing and letting me know those are coming out she was first on the bedding dollhouse bedding making thanks tabby appreciate it let's go put a doll on this now da -da -da. here we have her now she's in her beautiful stand where I wanted to work on her do whatever I could I love that this matches that, so it just kind of blends in just for the fun of it. And I had this left over, so that's pretty good. And she's in the display case. That plastic is going to work wonderful for wiping off on the back of the display board, stage, whatever you want to call it. Looks awesome. Check out our video journal on our display unit, which actually has four sides. This would be one side of it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, Alex showing off his skills that was only a tidbit of all he's done in the big doll house couldn't have done it without him bye bye bye, -bye.